We've come to the final chapter in our software design for non-designers course. My teaching team and I would like to thank you for your participation in the course and hoped we help you understand why design matters. Let's review the journey you started six weeks ago. In week one, you learned about design in general and why good design matters in software development. We also talked about the differences between design thinking and design practice. Remember, a design thinking mindset is an integral part of good design. In week two, we covered the overall design process for software applications. Design is the responsibility of everyone on the engineering team. But different roles are involved in the design process. And while you might not have all the skill sets we talked about on your team, you will want to be aware of their tasks. Remember, design is everyone's job. We also provided an introduction to the basic steps of the design process we recommend for your projects. In week three, we discussed why it is important to understand the needs of the people you're designing for. We provided an introduction to user research and the type of insights you can get from gaining empathy for potential users of your application. Good user research should result in personas that provide the beacon for your application design. If it does not meet your persona's needs, you will not have a successful user experience. The fourth week, we introduced what we call conceptual design. We reviewed how to translate the user needs you discovered into design artifacts, such as storyboards and wireframes. And we also talked about the various flavors of prototypes and why they're useful. Prototypes are a great way to help you think through solution concepts and getting end user feedback early to ensure an impactful solution. In week five, we provided details around production design. We introduced 10 heuristics that we feel are good to know and can be easily implemented. And we also provided some general layout advice. Keep in mind, design is much broader than what the user sees on the screen. It ranges from user assistance to consistency to error prevention and much more. Finally, we gave you some examples how we at SAP practice design and how we get from design to software development. Design is a highly interactive process and requires all hands on deck. Again, we thank you for actively participating in the course. Hopefully, you now have a good idea on how you can contribute to create great designs. Please let us know how we can improve this course and what additional topics we should offer by taking our course survey. Thank you.